You won't believe how many 5-inch squares I've used. You kept me encouraged, and I am finally back in the saddle of quilt making. I'll be honest, the first part of the month, and I know I was recovering, but even when I felt good, I couldn't get motivated or inspired or even interested in sewing. I had a mental block big time, but the fog lifted and I began planning and working, and in the last two weeks of June, I totally rocked. Hi, I'm Amy and I make things, and today I made a parade of projects. Come on, I'll show you. I have some help today with my patented sliding quilt system. I started here, and I'll insert a picture because you can't really see it here, but with a project I've had on my mind for a long time, and June was the perfect time to jump in and get it made, so I did. This Pride Mickey is adapted from the Take Me to the Magic pattern from Sterling Lebowski. I made another modified version previously, but that one is Casey's and he doesn't share it. And this one is mine. Go ahead, slide. I'm not tall enough for that one. <laughs> While working with pictures and five inch squares, I got a little carried away with myself and designed about four more picture quilts. The one I made next is here, and I love how it came out. It was fun to play with all those, <laughs> you can't see it. I'll insert pictures, guys. I'll insert pictures of everything so that you can see what it really looks like. But it is a pixelated elephant, and I loved playing with all the acid greens and purples. All right, thank you. Several months ago, I watched a Missouri Star tutorial for the, hmm, insert title here. <laughs> but I drew it out in EQ8 and colored six or seven versions of it just to play with the colors. The first one I pulled fabric for was Violet and Teal. I had a layer cake of this birdie fabric and I knew it would be perfect for the stars. Thank you. Next, I took gray background squares that I cut from leftover backing fabric, and I pulled red and green because a holiday quilt is always a hit. Also, my green five inch square bin was overflowing and I couldn't close the lid. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. I may yet make this star quilt in other colorways just as a color study quilt. It's just fun to make and it's graphic and I love the result. I also might have an abundance of five inch squares though. Honestly, these quilts, any of these, five inch square quilts work with any size square. It just changes either the final size or the number of squares required. Next up, I finally got borders on the rainbow, red, and black and white quilt that I spoke about way back in this video. I had all these leftover pieced segments and so I joined them together, added a black border, called it good. I actually really love the way it finished up. Can you show the edge, Toby? There. Thank you. Another lingering borderless quilt floated to the top of the list and I got this flannel quilt, Oh My Stars, top completed. I'd put it off for weeks and I think it took me all of 20 minutes to finish it. Isn't it weird how our mind does that? We make, you know, mountains out of molehills. It's weird, but you know, now it's complete and ready to quilt. I have a bundle of flannel scraps that I picked up, thank you, Toby, that I picked up from, <clears throat> I have a bundle of flannel scraps that I picked up from the free table 
And I think I'll revisit this pattern and see what I can come up with with that. Remember this video where I used the selvages and feature fabrics to pull two color palettes? Well, the tops are finally complete and ready to quilt. I think they turned out really cool and I love how different they are. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you can absolutely see the color palette inspiration even though I didn't use the feature fabric in either quilt. I'll make sure to put it in the label so that the story is preserved. And I think it's just, it's a fun way to work. In fact, when this quilt was on the design wall at my sew-in, I told Casey to pull it off the wall. He goes, that's not yours. I said, yes it is. He goes, that doesn't look like anything you would normally make. And I said, oh, Anna chose the colors. <laughs> This is its companion piece, and it is much more me. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help, sliding quilt system. <laughs> I also sewed and pressed and trimmed and laid out. Oh my lord, my son's right outside my window, sorry. <laughs> A whole bunch of half square triangles for a double feature quilt project that I'm working on, also using five inch squares. Overall, I am just thrilled beyond belief to be back in the game. Anything I've mentioned is linked below. I have big plans for July, including lots of small projects that make great gifts and what I hope will be fun walkthrough videos. Of course, more quilts. I've got to work faster if I'm going to make my lofty 100 quilt goal. We're halfway through the year and I am not halfway to my goal, but I'll get there. If you haven't seen my 100 quilts video, check out the link on your screen. Where are you in your quilting goals? Are you miles ahead or are we sharing a ride on the not quite there boat? Wherever you find yourself, I hope you never forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy, and I'll see you next time.